So if you didn't know, Rogue Company just had another update show where they talk about some balancing changes, some fire new skins, blah blah blah. Let's really get into the thing we're all really actually here for, which is the new Rogue Cannon and how this Terry Crews Mr. Potato looking mother has a minigun that can easily wipe out an entire team in seconds and also has headstrong and life drain for perks. No. 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 Yeah, if you've been here for a while and you know about my hyperscape video, yeah, get ready because this is going to be reminiscent to that. <laughs> Now I will say, with Weapon Mastery, Rogue Company has been decent to grind with all these new challenges, giving players a real reason to actually keep playing. But look, I'm just saying, I don't know how fun Rogue Company is going to be when you literally have a Call of Duty juggernaut running around a map, mowing down anyone and everyone. But hey, but hey, maybe I'm wrong and a minigun is a perfect fit for Rogue Company. So let's go over everything we know about Cannon and really figure out if this big boy will work in Rogue Company or will he single-handedly make 90% of the Rogue Company community delete this game in an instant. Yeah, let's, let's talk about it. <laughs> So before I really dive deep into this, let me know what you think about canon. I'm really curious about where the Rogue Comedy community actually stands on this because uh, this, this could be interesting. <laughs> Oh yeah, and if you entered in the giveaway at my last Rogue Company video, by the time this video goes up, the winners would have already been chosen, but don't worry, I'm always going to be doing giveaways. And a little secret, if you like and comment on any of my Blood Hunt videos, that gives you an entry for any upcoming giveaways. Just saying. Alright, so what does this hunk of a man have for an active ability? Well, like I predicted in all of my videos where I talked about leaks about cannon, he has a Gatlin gun. Now before I go any deeper into that, let's um, see this thing in action, shall we? I started to bring that up a little bit, I think that's important, you know, for any character, right? How can I counterplay this for us? You see the little passive icon flashing? Oh! So if you're wondering, no, I didn't speed up any of that. That's right, this minigun does in fact do that much, mm, it does that much damage, dog. I, but literally, literally putting Lancer mains a tier lower in the Rogue Company food chain. Yeah, Lancer is no longer the, the, the fucking Apex Predator. I don't give a fuck. Cannon is 100% the scariest mother in Rogue Company, period. And on top of that, no, this is not a modded lobby just to show up cannon. His minigun really does have unlimited ammo. Yeah, don't worry. I thought I was trippy on acid too when I first saw it. But, but, <laughs> but more on that whole unlimited ammo business just in a second. I got some more things to talk about. Now, everything that I just said is not even close to all the things that come with this minigun. Because look, Cannon is a defense character. <laughs> and apparently, because of that, you can mount Cannon's minigun, which by the way, has a protective shield attached to it on some Blackbeard shit. Except, it doesn't break. Yeah, that went real well for R6. Yeah real well for Rainbow Six Siege. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can mount this kill streak of a gun on any medium level surface and even on the ground. Yeah, you heard me right. You can mount this gun on the ground and by the way, like I said, he has protective, a fucking protective shield on this minigun. So you're protected while mounted on the ground. <sighs> I'm gonna have an aneurysm. I'm, I'm, I'm really on the verge of just collapsing. I, I really am. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, whether you're mounted crouched on the ground or on a piece of cover, this thing turns into a literal laser beam and... <laughs> And there is no time for you to wait, you know, to start up that minigun like the stereotypical, like it's turning to get the gears running and then it shoots. <laughs> nah, fuck that. When you're mounted, it's ready to go to war. It's literally ready. But now let's talk about the whole unlimited ammo situation. So yes, the minigun has literally unlimited ammo, but once you start shooting it, the timer starts to run and eventually you will have to put away your minigun just like how Sigrid has to put away her shield and so on but um 
this is where his passive ability comes into play. So basically, as long as you're quote, landing your shots, hitting either a player or destroying enemy equipment, you have the chance of returning ammo to the current magazine that you're using. But with the minigun out, if you're landing your shots, that little green bar will fill up, giving you even more time to lobby stomp with this minigun. Yeah. Now look boys, I know I'm really only talking about Cannon's minigun and his passive ability, but I will give a full breakdown of this character later on when I get my hands on him. But look, before I talk about how this <clears throat> minigun may or may not be absolutely broken, I'd like to say Cannon also has Headstrong and Life Drain as perks, which means he can have an extra 25 health and also even regain health with every kill he gets. And in game modes like Strikeout or King of the Hill, he can have both of these perks activated. Uh-huh, let that sink in. Now, Scott, Pretty Hair, you guys are phenomenal, and I'm not here to completely shit on Rogue Company. That's not my goal at all, and I'm not trying to hate. I, look, all I got all love Rogue Company. I love you guys, but goddamn, dude, I'm sorry, but Canon is really... It's re he, this, this, this character is really making me shit myself because I know how devastating this character is gonna be in the hands of players who really know how to play Rogue Company. And even new players. I mean, this is single-handedly a brain-dead character. It just is. Now, will it be fun using Canon for like the first three times? Yeah, sure. I mean, we all had a good time getting into modded NW2 lobbies, going crazy with God Mode back in the day. But after getting in like the ninth lobby in a row, it gets boring. Being overpowered without using any skill gets really, really boring. And look, I'm telling you right now, you couldn't have added a better character to piss off the Rogue Company community. Now I get it, there are some ways to, you know, counter Cannon and his minigun like EMPs, Molotovs, and rogues like Dima, Switchblade, Glitch, and all the snipers. But like I said, if you have players that know how to play Rogue Company, all it really takes is some trophy systems and a decent team to make even the shittiest Cannon players literally unstoppable. Now, once again, I am not here or making this video to completely shit on Rogue Company. I love the game, and actually, everything about this major update is actually a huge W. I'm all for the new skins, the new emotes, the Halloween-themed cosmetics, and even all the buffs and nerfs. I'm telling you, Canon is literally the only bad part about this update now look i think i made it painfully obvious that i think that canon is going to be a grossly overpowered character especially in the hands of players who have played world company for a very long time look i can be wrong I, genuinely i hope i'm wrong i swear to god i hope that this this character is like perfect in game i just don't see it happening at all i really i really don't see canon being a good or a balanced character i just don't i, I love his sledgehammer sledgehammer is gas it, I, i'll tell you what his sledgehammer is gas and i do like his passive ability a lot just not in the context of having a minigun i i the minigun just is not it but let me know what you think about this entire thing this was kind of just me ranting on about you know the new character but believe me i'm gonna have gameplay on this new character and i'm gonna really test him out to see if this minigun really is broken in game which i think he will be but 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 you know you know that's neither here or there uh but look i hope you enjoyed i'll see you in the next one peace